Hey everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, honey, we're gonna get on into. It. Ain't no sense of wasting no time, okay? I'm gonna talk about it because I can't, can, and I can't, can, I can't, can, I can't, can, and I will. Okay, we in straight Missyville tonight. Yes, we are, because I just can't believe that Russell Wilson let two young, I'm gonna call them punks. Not that they're gay, just punks, because they just really punked Wilson out of enjoying himself at an event that Drake was throwing. I'm like, Drake, did you throw this party just to be messy? Did you did you throw it just to be messy with Russell, Sierra, and Future? Now, I know Future is your boy, and I know he probably missing Sierra something awful, okay? But you didn't have to bring Future on stage, announcing a man like he's somebody important, really big, 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 big time. It wasn't like he was D-O-W-G Snoop Dogg. It wasn't like that, you know, or here, D-R-E double Dre, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, it was the Super Bowl. Y'all were feeling good. The, um, uh, what do you call it? Dr. Dre showed out. Eminem showed out. 50 Cent showed out. You know, Snoop Dogg with the Crip Walk gonna show out. Mary J. Bly with all her crazy dancing up there. Like, she had had a feel for something with them thigh-high boots. And they were killing her whole outfit. Yeah, she was straight up looking good, feeling good, and performing good. Yes. Did I miss anybody else, y'all? That, um... I saw Anderson Pack out there on the drums. He was killing them drums. But yeah, just getting back to it. I kind of got side, side, or oh, we call it. I, I got pulled to the side for a minute. <laughs> I got sidetracked. You know, I do that sometimes. But I'm, and we know Sierra is a boss. You know, she kind of, she can't really sing too much. But that girl like Janet Jackson, they be getting down on that flow. Ooh, she is a good choreographer and a good dancer. And her beats be on point too. But we ain't know she be rocking the house. You know what I'm saying? She be getting down. She like that whole entertainment or uh, industry vibe. And when she was in the future, it was kind of rocky. Because, you know, he ain't want to pay no bill. He all that lust trying to be a dad. And dad be that dad. And, you know, she was just needing something at the time. I think it was stability and security. And that's pretty much what she found in Russell. But she wasn't happy with that clown right there, future. I mean, to a certain degree she was, but when she really started thinking about it, he kept fooling around on her. She just knew this wasn't it. it. Either he had to change or she had to go. And, of course, she did the latter. She booked. So, them two are supposed to be good friends, best friends, best boys or whatever. I'm like, why y'all going to do Russell like that? Why y'all going to punk him out like that? You going to invite Future. Y'all going to be, a, you know, all this hoorah and all like that. And then he pulling Sierra out the door trying to get out there so he, you won't come see her or something. I like. I don't know. He seemed kind of suspect to me. And you were seeing some of these pictures. I'm like, boy, he's supposed to be this burly, big, you know, kind of guy like the Hulk. He shouldn't be scared of nobody. But little Future and Dre ran that brother on out there. He knew he was taking his prize with him. It don't look like Sierra was uh impressed. He wasn't impressed about being shuffled on out the door just because russell felt some kind of way i think really russell is insecure about the relationship between or a strange relationship i can say between c era and don't be laughing Drake. you know you set that shit up you know you set that shit up and they sure did what you thought they were gonna do book so how much future paid you i know y'all laughing at both of them i know you because y'all saw <laughs> Knowing crazy ass Drake, he probably had uh cameras around and they probably had a strong, long laugh at seeing Russell Usher Sierra out the out of the party because they were having fun, they was mixing. I'm pretty sure Drake had spotted them and said, Okay, we finna fuck them up, we finna we're gonna see who she really want. And of course, put the boy on stage and they 86 booked it on the side, just got out there. Got somebody to get their limo, and then they going to be sitting talking. Like, if you were ready to go, Russell should have been ready to go. Don't cry. Don't cry with spilled milk. He had it first. He had Sierra first. You know, they kind of look like brothers and sisters. They were modeling a lot. But now, uh, you think is Sierra going to jump and leave you? I mean, damn, y'all got four kids together. Got three or four together. And he trying to keep the family alive and all that. And I understand that. I do greatly. I do. But I'm like... I don't 
think Sierra happy either. She ain't happy being in the marriage that she in either. She just don't look happy. For a woman to have it all, nice husband, nice looking husband, you know, well, no three children. Well, she probably working on baby number four. But it looks like a very nice family. But Sierra is used to partying. She used to mingling, mixing, going to parties and stuff. And not being outrageous or anything. I never thought she was that because she's a preacher's kid. So she had to act out a little bit here and there. And show a little skin here and there. But, you know, it just didn't work out between her and Future. But I think she kind of still missed that limelight. And that's something that Russell don't provide for her. Because I bet she bored as hell being a, uh, what do you call it? A, not a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Um, a football wife. You know what I'm saying? How she had to go and mingle with the other football wives and stuff. And they had to do things. I don't know, football stuff where they have to go and raise money for charity and they all have to be together and be uh, unified for the whole team and all this stuff. But that shit's boring her. That's probably boring her to death. And she knows she got security and stability with Russell. But I think she still wants that wild side. I don't, I don't know what he was looking like there. He looked it very suspect. And, you know, she don't like she was happy. Do it. What y'all think in that picture? Okay, and that's when they were supposed to be ushering on out the party. <laughs> I was like, Russell was 86, booking up out of there. When he saw uh, Future come out there on stage, like, they ain't tell us Future was going to be there. Why he invited us? He don't like uh, Future. He know you got issues with Future. Why would he do that to us here? That seemed like he was saying it. She probably wanted to say, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. I ain't ready to go, but I guess we got to go. Shit, you don't drug me out. Uh, other part or whatever. I like this is some hot ass mess. I ain't never seen nobody. I like so if you was up there with Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, you gonna move because your ex come up in there. <laughs> no, Snoop Dogg and Dre, they would have went and got the brother and brought him to the table and say, now what, nigga? What, what, nigga? Okay, we got her now. You had her, but we got her now. That's something them two would do. Okay. Be ready to crip rock on their behinds or uh, 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 future behind if he was coming out the Sierra. But Russ ain't about that life. He is not about that life. He's very stable. He's in the family and all that's, um, what do you call it? It's a humdrum life she's probably living. But, I mean, that's the life she wanted. She wanted security. She wanted stability. She wanted a man that wasn't cheating on her just that and third. And I'm giving him all these uh, accolades because I'm hoping he's not doing all those. You know, he's not doing the opposite. And I don't know what, what kind of look was he giving me. Now, that was a sexy uh, Latino look right there. But the other looks, I don't know where he going. I, I, don't, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? So... And then Sierra lately has been over there popping her booty on Instagram and, you know, making it drop hot and all that kind of stuff. And still dancing and no clothes on and stuff, but very little clothes on. And, you know, he has to put up with all of that. And he's been in her videos like he got to watch her. Like she's being watched 24-7 by him like she's going to do something. But I bet you, he, I think he is uh, very insecure in the relationship. And I think it's taking its toll. Or, excuse me, the both of them. Cause like that haircut, what was he doing? What was he, that's like a, a little kid in high school, maybe middle school look. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I didn't understand it. Now, now, that was sexy right there. I can see why she wanted him there. You know what I'm saying? He kind of looked like Doom Martin uh, by that picture, just that one now. And see, I don't know where he was going with this. He looked like he was overweight. I don't know what he was looking like. I ain't like the whole outfit. I like, no, this is a no-go. This is a no-look for me. And that's a nice look. But uh, I really think Sarah is in a conundrum, you know. And I think she's baffled on what she should do. Because like I said, she left uh, Future for a reason. You know what I'm saying? There was a reason behind everything. And I think she left him because, you know, he was a deadbeat dad. He didn't want to act right. He want to cheat on and all that kind of stuff. You know, women, they ain't going to put up with that. Not when she got options. Okay. And the, her other option was choosing Russell. But for some reason, I just really think it's a it's a story behind that. You know how everybody say all that glitter ain't gold and all uh, looking at somebody else's life may not be the true life that they're depicting. Uh, it's only a reflection of what's really happening behind the scenes. You know how people want to be showing that perfect life, but they're in hell when you, you're actually able to come in and see the real 
truth of their uh, relationship. But yeah, I think um, I, I know that nigga. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I know that ego. I know that ego. Set up there and set that whole situation up. Cause if it was up Sierra, she would have stand her ground. She would have put her heels in that cement. Say, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna enjoy myself. This room is too damn big for us to be running out of. When well, he could be on that other side, and I can be enjoying myself on this side. You know what I'm saying? That's what she should have told Ross. I ain't going nowhere. I, I shoot. I don't been with them kids all day. I'm finna stay here until the party ends. We're going to close this party down. Okay? Even if I had to get up on stage and perform, which I don't think they wanted her to. But don't two, don't two jokers set that mess up. They sure did. And, and, and Russell fell straight forward. He just ran out like a little uh, itch. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't had no backbone. I mean, you know, he a football player. He's supposed to go over there and tackle them. And have no assault charges put on him, you know. But anyway, um, let's just go on to the story what TMZ had brought out. Uh, they titled it, Sierra and Russell Wilson Books It When Future Shows for Drake's Super Bowl Party. See what I'm saying? They they, they having a field day on social media. And, and Russell looking like the fool. I said, uh-uh. And, and he probably fussing that Sierra about him. Probably Sierra getting on his ass, too. I'm like, you know we shouldn't have left. Everybody going to say something. And he, here's the here's the blowback. Here's the here's the negativity we're going to have to deal with. And I'm going to probably have to say something. He said, you're going to say nothing. Yes, I am. No, you ain't. They probably going through the house fussing like that all night long. Waking up the kids and everything. Because of them two jokers. <laughs> because of them two jokers. I'm like, ain't Russell older than them, too? Please. But they had it, but the, the girl, but well, we're gonna say Dre, we're gonna say uh, Future because he, he got child support on him and got probably got other kids running around him. He ain't got no money, so we're gonna say Drake. We're gonna say Drake got all the money so he could spare all the pain uh, for his partner in crime. But anyway, it says, um, Russell Williams. Well, I'm sorry, Russell Wilson and Sierra be a hasty retreat from a Super Bowl party after the father of one of her children showed up, a.k.a. Future. Russell and Sierra hit up Drake's show at the Pacific Design Center in WeHo Saturday night, a party packed with celebs including Lizzo, uh, Tiana Taylor, Cardi B, Offset, and Jack Har Harlow. Okay. Little did they know Drake had a surprise guest. And who it was? His best busted Fruitcher. I'm like, why he had to put Fruitcher on stage? <laughs> what Fruitcher you can be sashaying around, modeling, and trying to see which woman he want to be with that night? Why he couldn't just be on the floor? You know what I'm saying? Nah, he had to bring him up and just rub uh, Future's nose. Uh, a rub Sierra and um, Russell knows on the fact that he was there and performing. He would be in mess of y'all. I try act like a woman sometimes. Try act like a little girl sometimes. Him and Future. They play too much. They play too much. But they would be in mess of, they would be in mess of Super Bowl night. So, um, it said, as you know, Sierra and Future had a difficult breakup, which became even more complicated once she hooked up with Russell, who became super close to baby Future Zaire. Shade was thrown in all directions. Yeah, because what you call it was mad because he's sitting up there raising his kid. Now, you know that's going to make Future seem like he's a bad dad. He ain't providing. He ain't being a father, sick, and this, that, and third. And Russell got all these glory, glory, glorified, ugh, glorified recommendations. And he's a good person in society. And you just, just fucking him all up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Giving the optics, you know, what we're really looking at. Um, the pros and cons, the negatives, the positives, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the future is, is, you know, negative in every last category if you want to size them both up, you know, side by side. So, um, you know, he's been upset. They portrayed future and negativity when he was with Sierra and when he wasn't with Sierra and Sierra wanted to hook up with Russell. And he felt some kind of way. So, uh, I guess his life is kind of stable now. And, you know, maybe Sierra is being forgiving of his uh, uh, shortcomings or his falls. And Russell's not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that old hammerhead Drake is trying to set them back up on the side. You know what I'm saying? Just to give Sierra a taste of what she's missing as far as the industry and the industry parties and all that kind of stuff. That it seems like Sierra is craving. And I, I, I noticed something about Sierra too. It seems like when she's not happy or she's going through some emotional thing, she gets real skinny, almost anorexic looking. You now she was, you know, kind of anorexic looking with Future when he was fooling around with her. We're not fooling around with her. We're 
fooling around on her with other women. She started to, you know, not look well, uh, look, I ain't going to say really disheveled, but she seemed like she wasn't getting no sleep and she was losing weight. Same thing. I've seen some pictures uh, of her with Russell. You know, she's been losing, you know, a lot of weight. And um, it, it just... It just makes me wonder if she's really happy in her marriage as well. But going back to the article, it says it's unclear where where Future stands with Sierra and Russell. But given their reaction after Future showed up, it doesn't seem like all is kumbaya. Sierra and Russell were rushed to their car by cops as they left the party. Now I'm like, why they got to be rushed today? <laughs> why they got to be rushing anywhere, okay? Why did... um? Russell feel like he had to hastily leave when he was having an extraordinary good time prior to Future showing up on the scene. Now, that's just piss poor. Piss poor. I'm like, damn, you a big-ass football player. I've been in the game, I don't know how many years. You're going to let this little uh, little punk run around him. He look like he on way, but probably, what, a good 170? And that's giving more in his height. You could take him down easily, Russell. You could take him down easily. Do that one, two, ten KO punch. You know what I'm saying? You're all husky looking. You know, manly, manly looking. Man, you could have handled him. I know Drake. I mean, I probably Future and Drake probably had a bet on it to say, will he stay? Or will he go? And they had, they seen the footage and everything, and they just laughing their ass off. Just laughing their ass off at the kind of man Sierra done hooked herself up with. Can't even stand his ground. He can't even enjoy a good party without being uh, intimidated by the ex and all this kind of stuff. I like, Drake ain't got, Drake ain't, he ain't full of shit. Drake is just full of shit. Him and Future. You know what I'm saying? They had to run that man out there when he was having, having such a good time. It was football time. It was, you know, the probably placing bets and people talking shit and everything. He liked it, that atmosphere. But little did he know. And I'm like, I don't even know why I even phased him. If you go into an industry party, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to run into some people you don't like. And nine times out of ten, it was going to be future being at one of them parties because that's what he do. He shows up, show out, and move on, okay? Almost like a tornado running around now. But Sierra did like him. She laid up with him. She was in a relationship with him. She had a baby by him. So something had to be good about him. You know what I'm saying? She didn't do all this stuff blindfolded and out of her mind. So, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I see them together. They seem like they're picture perfect. But it seems like it's a hidden story there. That's all I got to say. But y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about. Uh, they saying on every outlet, TMZ. XL, XXL magazine and a slew of other people got the same take. So somebody was there watching the whole thing play out for them to even get that Russell was running out of a party or hustling out of a party or abruptly leaving a party. Something had to happen in that party to upset him enough to want to be ushered out to you know with the police to be able to get to their car securely. So, I, I don't know. I'm like, man, man, that's some bullshit right there. That's really some bullshit. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about what y'all heard, what y'all seen that I've talked about. And put your comments down there and let's dialogue about this mess. Y'all think Russell's a punk. And I ain't talking about like gayness. I'm just saying punking out. Like, you know, when you get ready, you want to fight somebody and you punk out. You be like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. I don't want to hurt him. You know, like, why are you being scared? You know, that kind of thing is what I'm talking about when I say punk out. But uh, y'all let me know. I'll holler at y'all next video. Bye-bye.